And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. It's Keith once again. And it looks like XFX is the first company to officially launch the custom variants of the Radeon RX Vega lineup. According to video cards, the company has revealed their new double edition graphics cards that come with the Vega Fit 64 and Vega 56 GPUs, offering better PCBs and cooling systems. The XFX Radeon RX Vega Double Edition graphics cards were teased a while back and like the other custom Radeon RX Vega cards we've seen so far, we thought that they wouldn't be able to hit the market for quite some time. That doesn't seem to be the case for the XFX card. It's launching yesterday and these cards will soon be available as indicated by the source. The GPUs on both cards stick to the reference clock speeds, which means that we aren't looking at factory overclock sp speeds. The XFX Radeon RX Vega 64 comes with 4096 stream processors clocked at 1247 MHz base and a 1546 MHz boost, while the 8GB of HBM2 memory is clocked at the reference speeds and deliver 484GB of bandwidth. The XFX Radeon RX Vega 56 comes with 3584 stream processors clocked at 1156 MHz base and a 14 71 megahertz boost clock while the 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory delivers 410 gigabits per second of bandwidth. Users can take full advantage of the better tuned PCB by overclocking them themselves, but overall, a factory overclock would have been a nice addition. And moving on, the cards feature a unique shroud design and a cooler that actually extends over the PCB. The PCB on the card is a custom design with a wider frame, but overall, it's shorter than the stock model. The dual fan solution is used to cool the large aluminum shroud underneath which makes use of several copper heat pipes. There are dual 8 pin connectors on both cards even though some pictures indicated that there would be an 8 plus 6 pin but they are in the center of the card since the PCB is shorter than the cooler itself and that would make for some really odd cable management if I'm honest. Aside from that, we're looking at a nicely designed back plate while display connectors include a single HDMI, three display ports. There's no word yet on pricing, but these cards are expected to hit the retail market very soon. Now this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.